Welcome back to Fenway Park in Boston. Our mass analyst Mike Bordick is standing by. And Mike, what we haven't talked about here in the early going is Jeremy Hellick's a nice bounce back, would you say, effort tonight pitching seven strong innings? Yeah, I'll say a tough one in his last outing where he gave up the five home runs. And it seemed like he had command of everything working tonight. Of course, helped out by the Oriole offense for sure. That'll help you settle in. But uh, you, you got to pitch well against this Red Sox lineup. You know, you got to mix up your pitches, change locations. And Hellickson did that tonight. Kept him off balance with the change up in the breaking ball down below the knees. I think that was the most important thing. His location with his pitches was exceptional. He's working in and out with his fastball, keeping him off balance with the secondary stuff. You know, Mike, uh, Jonathan Scope, uh, Manny Machado, we know they're best friends. They came up out of the minor leagues together. This season has really turned into something that's rather special to watch with both of these guys kind of competing against himself right now. Manny finally coming on in the second half, about a week or so before really the all-star break. But now they both seem to be on track together, and it's so much fun because one hits a home run, the other one comes back with a home run, and base hits tonight, seven of them between them tonight. Yeah, yeah, they push each other. Uh, it is. It's fun to watch, and I think it's a unique experience uh, for them and for us to watch as fans uh, because they do challenge themselves and they push, and they're at the highest level, you know. I mean, these guys have unbelievable ceilings ahead of them. They're young superstars right now. They put up tremendous numbers, but uh, they're getting the most out of each other by pushing each other and challenging them. Yeah, they're best friends, but uh, they want to try to outdo each other. One guy hits a home run, like you said, the next night the next guy will hit a home run the big offensive output tonight using the whole field I think that's the most important thing these young bats here Machado and Jonathan Scope they're just not one-dimensional players right now they're letting the ball travel they're using the whole field they understand the situations in the ball game and there were some sound approaches tonight by those two young players well Mike as always we appreciate your comments we'll chat with you tomorrow afternoon as the Orioles take on the Red Sox game too which is a four o'clock start